now let us roll this. And look at this. Our Shazwan Frankie is all ready. Looks so good. Subscribe to Madhura's recipe and hit the bell icon to receive updates of all my new recipes. Hello friends, welcome to Madhura's recipe. Today I am making chatpata and spicy Shazwan Frankie. Now, instead of just stuffing this roll or wrap with plain alu filling, today we are going to make some variation and take it to next level that we are going to make that into a nice crispy and crunchy patty. Uh, so to begin with, uh, here I have two cups of all-purpose flour that is maida in a bowl. In that goes in half cup of wheat flour that is gehu kata and some salt. Now mix this together and let's add in water and make this into two. Just the same way we make our atta dough or chapati dough. All right, and here this dough is ready and look at the consistency. This is not too stiff, not too loose. This is the perfect consistency. Now to resolve few drops of oil so that this dough doesn't form any crust. Let's cover this and just like any other dough, give it a standing time of at least half an hour. So to prepare this Shazwan Frankie, this Shazwan Masala is must. So I am going to combine my dry spices together to make that into a Shazwan Masala. So here I have 2 teaspoon of red chilli powder, a teaspoon of coriander powder, a teaspoon of garam masala, roasted cumin powder 1 teaspoon, 1 fourth teaspoon turmeric powder, black salt and black salt is 1 teaspoon and 1 teaspoon chaat masala. Now mix this everything together and here this shezwan masala is ready. Now you can store this masala in an airtight container and it stays good up to 3 to 4 months. Now let's make filling or stuffing for this uh, Shezwan Frankie. So here I have 2 tablespoons of oil preheated into a pan. In that first goes in garlic, tablespoon of chopped garlic and ginger. Give this a head start of 30 seconds. Once that's done, next goes in 1 medium sized onion, finely chopped. Mix that in and cook this until onion turns nice and soft. Now I like my Frankie stuffing to be on more crispy side. So what I do, I take 2 tablespoons of rice as well as 2 tablespoons of poha flakes. Put this both into a blender jar. So this is 2 teaspoons each rice. You can use any type of rice, any variety of rice as well as thick poha or poha flakes. Now take this uh, blender jar, cover this and run this into a blender until it gets coarse powder. So here onion looks nice and soft. Now let's go ahead and add in this Frankie masala, a teaspoon of Frankie masala. We also going to add Shazwan sauce. So uh, this is a homemade Shazwan sauce and uh, I have earlier posted a recipe for that so please go and check that out also I am going to post the link for this Chezwan chutney recipe in the description box below so do check that out give that a mix this is a little bit on spicier side this masala looks superb now here I have one large potato that I have boiled, peeled and then mashed. So it goes into this masala and 
when you boil a potato it kind of loses its moisture and it gets little bit on uh, softer side uh, so to give it a binding uh, here we are going to add this poha as well as uh, rice uh, powder what it does it gives awesome binding plus it helps to make our patties on a crispier side add in salt give this a mix looks awesome now let's turn off the heat and add in spring onion that is optional you can just skip that out and you may use coriander leaves instead of this spring onion i have transferred this uh, stuffing alu stuffing into another dish and it has cooled down little bit now let's go ahead take a handful of portion from this stuffing and we are going to make this into a nice and long patty out of it like so just big enough to fit that into our roll and i'm going to flatten it out so that it will be easy to shallow fry it on the skillet These are ready. Now let's shallow fry them. So, add in little bit of oil into a pan. Let's place in our patties. and fry them until it gets nice deep golden color from both the sides after frying this patty for about 3 to 4 minutes from one side let's go ahead and give this a flip wow look at the color and nice crunch it has got similarly i'm going to flip rest of the patties super and our patties that is filling is ready also this dough is ready now let's go ahead and make paratha using this dough so i'm going to give this a one more mix now take small portion size from this dough about this much let's stir some dry flour and make this into paratha roll this into paratha just the similar way we make our roti and here this paratha is ready to go over skillet and we are going to cook this for about 2 to 3 minutes or until you see nice tiny bubbles start to pop out from the surface of this paratha after about 2 to 3 minutes flip this over and cook this for 2 to 3 more minutes and now apply some butter flip this over and some butter from other side also and we will continue to fry this paratha or cook this paratha until it gets nice deep golden color and here this paratha is well cooked from both the sides and it has also got this nice crisp now let's transfer this into another plate 
and my next paratha is also ready to go over the skillet now let's start to assemble this pranky so first I am going to apply this shizwan chutney all over this paratha and along with this I am also adding just about a teaspoon of this tomato ketchup it helps to kind of balance out spice from this shizwan chutney and this is a homemade tomato ketchup spread that around fabulous now let's place this patty it's awesome and to add little freshness and crunch in our frankie i'm adding some chopped onion little bit of shredded cabbage sprinkle some frankie masala over these veggies and some coriander leaves now let's roll this and look at this our shezwan franki is all ready looks so good and here this uh, shezwan franki looks super delicious it's almost over so i don't have anything to <laughs> take a look but it turns out to be super spicy and delicious so do give it a try also if you haven't subscribed make sure to hit the subscribe as well as bell icon thank you for watching see you soon bye bye